Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. So today, we're going to go ahead and get rid of these chrome grills and we are going to show you how to install new grills. Now, the grills that I'm going to be installing are these awesome, they're a gloss black M3 style without the little badge on them. So upon closer examination, you can see that these grills are just scratched to death. So it looks like someone took sandpaper and vinyl wrapped them or something. Uh, it looks like there's still a little bit of adhesive actually over here, all up here. They just look absolutely horrible. So this is a shot of what we're going to be installing today. So these just look absolutely amazing. I really like these because they don't have that little plaque where you can put the M3 badge or M4. Um, they just look very clean and let's get started. Now to do this job, all you're going to need is a drill of some sort or a driver that accepts drill bits. And then you need a T25 and then a T30. I actually really like to use this one from Irwin and it has a T30 on one side and on the other side it has a T25. And then it has this little piece of, it's a little magnet to make sure that your bolts don't get lost in the place of no return. So I really like to use these. Go ahead and load your drill up with either the T25 or the T30. Just take this weather stripping, just pull it out of the way. Okay, so along the front here, you have one, two, three, four, five, six T30s, and then you have two of the T25s that are actually into the headlight. So just go ahead and remove all these bolts. We'll move on to the T25. All right, once you have the bolts out, what you wanna do, you'll see these metal clips. There's four of them here. So just go ahead and just slide your bumper out from under it. And what this is going to allow you to do is just bend it up a little bit and then you'll have full access to the tabs. So this is the new grill. You'll see that we have three tabs on the top, three on the bottom, and then two on the sides. What I like to do is I like to start from one side, so I'll start from this side. What I'm going to do, go ahead and just gently press down this tab and then give it some pressure, pull outwards. And then that's going to make sure that that tab's not gonna snap, snap back into place. Then go ahead and release this one and this one, and then the, you'll start to feel this whole left side pulling up. And then just continue to go this one and this one, and then it'll go a little bit more. Do the last three. Once you release all the tabs, these grills will just pop right out. For this next part, you may realize that we are working on a different color car. The reason for that is because we had a corrupt video file. Uh, my car is at BMW right now getting an alignment. So therefore, we are just going to show you how to do it on the loaner car. So at this point, what you can do is go ahead and reach in and start to press in these little tabs. So start on the one to the far left. Now, as you're pressing in the tabs with one hand, what you want to do with the other hand is apply outward pressure. That's going to make sure that these tabs aren't going to snap back into place. Once you get past the first three, it's all downhill from there. And once you get that final clip to the right there, as you can see here, everything's just gonna pop right out. So here's another shot of the grill that was in there. I can actually tell that there was Plasti Dip, so it looks like somebody sanded it down really good to Plasti Dip it, but they just made it look absolutely awful. So let's go ahead and snap those new grills back in. All right, so go ahead and make sure that you have the right one. Remember the, the wider piece here goes on the outside. Line up all the holes. And that's it, so let's go ahead and do the other side. I'll show you a slightly different camera angle. All right, so this time I'll show you from this angle. Again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from this side, work my way over, and then we'll pop the new grills in. Okay. So again, you wanna pop, pop one of these pins and then just give it a little bit of pressure. And then as you start to pop them, you'll see the grill start to pop out. Okay, and then once you get to this point, it's. It's all downhill from there. Okay, just be careful sliding that out. And once again, it pops right out. Go ahead and take your new grill, line it up, snap it in place. So now that you have your grills in, what you wanna do is go ahead and get your, your bumper back under these four metal clips. So it just slides right in. Make sure that when you're putting your bumper cover back on, that it go, there's a little groove on your headlight. Make sure that it goes in that slot right there. Otherwise, it may give you a little bit of trouble. Okay. Then what I like to do is I like to go ahead and put the two T25s back in. Now when you're doing this, you'll notice that there's a little bit of a groove where the screw sat before. What you want to do is just go ahead, 
and make sure that you line that up just as it was. And that'll make sure that you have a nice, clean, and even gap along here. Otherwise, you're gonna put your hood down, you might have a finger width down here, and a piece of paper might be able to fit down here. So this is going to really help and make sure that you line everything up correctly. The other thing is never tighten them too hard because you can crack the plastic on the sides. If you do, it's not really a big deal, but just to give you a little warning. Okay, let's go ahead and switch over to that T30. Same thing, look for the groove of where the washer sat before and try to line it up. And what I like to do is take the weather stripping, just gently fold it in half to find the middle. Put that spot down there. And this just presses back into place. Let's move all this stuff, shut the hood and take a look. And once again, by lining up those screws, you'll see that we have a, a nice even line all the way across where the bumper meets the hood. Okay, so here you can see everything is completely installed and I just think this look looks absolutely amazing, especially going from the chrome, not, not just the chrome, but a scratched up chrome. So it was went from really awful to really awesome. Now, if you're interested in a set of these, our friends at Perpetual Racing Online would be happy to help you out. Just see a link in the description for a coupon code. Now I know not everybody cares for the M3 style with the double slated grills, but they do also sell the regular matte black and I believe gloss black and some other options for you as well. Again, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you haven't done so already, we would love for you to be a subscriber and make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit that bell notification to make sure that you're notified when the new videos are released. Again, this is Brian. Thanks for watching and have a great day.